Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that I have safely arrived in Boston. It is actually uh, 5.15 here, but because I'm still on uh, whatever the Californian time zone is, it feels like it's 2.15. I am tired. I only had like two or three hours of sleep. That's inconvenient. I'm like walking right down the whole length of the airport just trying to find baggage claim E. You think they would uh, put the baggage claim close to where the plane gets off, but no. Seriously though, logic. If you're going to put a plane on one end of the airport, why have the baggage claim on the opposite end? Makes no sense. Okay, let's play I Spy. Do you spy my parents? Anybody? A a any resemblance to that guy waving my parent? Is that my dad? Yes, it is my dad. Why am I zooming in if I'm getting closer anyways? I'm really zoomed in. Anyways, hi mom. Hi dad. Oh, it's so weird. I feel like I time traveled. Yes, I'm saying it again. I'm saying it on camera this time. Um, I mean, I feel like me saying like I slept in or whatever because I, I only got two hours of sleep last night. But really it feels like I slept in this morning. It was it, it just that short time ago. Uh, it's so weird. Uh, time zones are so confusing. My room, for the most part, left completely untouched. Except why is the brown side of the blanket up? It's supposed to be the blue side. Pretty much untouched except for my backpack, that thing, and those two things are on my bed. But yes, my room, put the lights on. I'm home. Not time to get more sleep. Well, uh, after two to three more hours of sleep in my own bed, though my pillow was in California, I am now uh, heading out for the day with my family, doing things and stuff. What are you wearing on your feet? Your pants? Anyways, I have to drive to the mass border. First day home, and I'm already driving. Woo! But I have a 25 more hour uh, addition to my driving. I have to drive with my parents because uh, I failed the final uh, drive for driver's ed, which sucks. Yeah, so I'm at this uh, fancy party at this house of a relative, I believe. I, I don't really know. I really feel stupid not knowing. But it's been years since I've been here. Uh, it's on a sh little street called Sleepy Hollow. I hope the headless horseman doesn't find me. I'm kidding. It's not the town Sleepy Hollow. It's the street Sleepy Hollow. But still. Can you look comfortable? You comfortable? Okay. Well, since I'm at like a private beach house. I figure, why not go to the beach? Take that Santa Monica. See, this is what a beach day looks like. Sun's overhead, blue sky, nice water, not cloudy and murky like you were when you know, the New York Film Academy brought me to Santa Monica. This is beach weather, not the cloudy ugh, that LA provided. Is this a show? It's like part of a show. I'm going into the water and I really wish I had a waterproof case or a waterproof camera to take with me uh, so I can bring you guys along, but sadly I don't. So you're gonna have to sit on the beach. I'm blinded by the salt. Well, that was fun. Uh, besides the fact that there really is not much waves, I played in the sand, I felt like a little kid. Um, remembered all the fond memories I had of coming to this beach when I was a little kid. Uh, and then I got bored, so I'm leaving. Maybe I should have taken my shoes with me, then they wouldn't have gotten so sandy. This sucks. Houston, we have a problem. Now, uh, sorry, I was making sure it was recording. That was a little awkward angle. Anyways, uh, so now I do need new shoes. Maybe I'll get some CTFXC assassins. So we're eating at this very, very fancy place uh, for dinner. And my family has gone inside because I was taking too long to fit with my camera. Um, one way you know it's a really fancy restaurant is based on what color your clothes are, they give you a different napkin, either black or white. So, uh, this is a really fancy restaurant. In fact, I kind of feel out of place going in here. They gave you a black 
So, uh, do, you, do you think they have any uh, burgers? Maybe something greasy? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I don't like fancy food. So, I have my mom, my dad, my mom's friend, the reason why we're here. Sam, and then me, as you already knew. I get the feeling that's not the way the straw is supposed to be turned with. <laughs> straw fail. Okay, that's how you know you have, you're at a fancy restaurant. They have monogrammed paper towels. Okay, when I left, my uh, napkin was just sitting on the table, unfolded. When I came back, it was folded. Seriously, this thing is, this place is way too fancy for me. Ugh, the worst part about it being, you know, about me being back in New Hampshire is it's like 10 o'clock, but 10, 9, 8, 7, it feels like 7. But I am tired from not really sleeping much today, or yesterday, or last night, or whatever. So I'm going to try to get some sleep, but first I have to wash that salt water off me. That might have been a little bit too much information, but I'm leaving that in. Um, anyways, uh, might as well just say this now because I'm probably going to bed right after my shower. Good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. And to any NYFA, uh, people who are watching this, I miss you. Home is too boring. I want to be in California.